Nice flew halfway across the world for this tattoo and I didn't even know what I was getting. Let's get bloody. <laughs> What's up people? Another beautiful day in Vietnam and I have something incredibly cool planned for you today. Let's go. I'm tired. Let's go. Before we get started, let me introduce you to my artist, Man Win. He specializes in traditional Japanese tattoos like these, but is also known for some amazing psychedelic renditions of tigers, which is what I'm here for. And shout out to one of my favorite artists back home, Shay Bredemus, for giving me the recommendation. He does some incredible black and gray realism, and if you're ever in SoCal, definitely hit him up. But this is what I'm doing today. Cool little thing about today. No idea what I'm getting. Giving my artist complete creative control. This might turn out bad, but... It's just a body, just a tattoo. It's only forever. Now I get it, saying I had no say in my tattoo is a little clickbaity. So for all clarity, here's what I did know coming into the appointment. I know I'm getting a tiger and I know the skill of my artist, but that's it. Everything else, the design, the color, the elements, I'm all leaving up to him. As far as placement goes, I wanted to get it extending all the way down to my hand, but my mom said she would disown me if I ever got anything on my hands but I wanna get something on my hands. Guess I'll be a good boy today. So let's get started with this process. We're doing something a little bit unique here. Instead of placing a stencil on the arm, man is drawing the tattoo freehand and without a reference. This allows him to perfectly fit the design on my arm and follow its curvature, which means, I think we're gonna do the elbow today, it's gonna to suck. Stencil is done, took about a little under an hour. Now I gotta carbo load before the tattoo because I feel like this one's gonna hurt. I am not excited about this elbow. It's gonna suck. Anyone who tells you the more tattoos you do, the easier it gets is a fucking liar. But me, pork stuff in it, pork. I am super excited about this tattoo. However, I'm tired, I'm a little hungover, and I am not looking forward to the pain. All right, I'll see you all when the tattoo starts. And with that, the tattooing has begun. Not looking forward to the pain, but let's do it. The first step to any tattoo is the outline. We're getting the general shape and look of the piece locked in. In terms of pain, it's fairly bearable. Well, except for this part. So we're doing the elbow now. It's actually not too bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. Yeah, that's him bending my elbow so the skin is fully retracted and the needle can directly hit my bone. And that's me contemplating my life choices. After a couple hours, we are taking a quick little break. The outline is basically done, which makes me scared because we're moving to the colors now and colors are way more painful, at least in my opinion. And in my opinion, I'm correct because the next hour looked a lot like this. little update. We've been at it for about five hours now. Started to do the color on the elbow and I was wrong. The elbow f***ing hurts. Hurts a lot. Oh god, never did. Oh my god. Oh god, I hate tattoos. I hate getting tattoos. Am I okay? Not at all. But we're making progress. Checking on you in uh... I'll check in on you in a little bit. For me, the first three hours are very bearable, but once you hit that four hour mark, the pain is a lot more difficult to ignore. The remaining few hours looked a lot like this. Just bunkering down, hunkering down, bunkering down, just in the fetal position, waiting for time to pass faster. It hurt a lot, but it was definitely worth it. And seven hours later, and we are finally done. It's gonna bleed for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna take a picture and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm glad it's over, but every time I get a tattoo, I tell myself it's the last one, but it's not. This one's really cool. Can't wait to show you. It's 
seven hours later and I am finally done. We took some breaks in between, so I would say it took about six hours, but now my hand can't even bend and I'm left-handed, so kind of useless for the next few days. Let's go find Michael, see what he's up to. What are you doing to your hair? I'm getting a cut for a style of dye. I hope they understood the Google Translate. How cool. Waiting for my hair and my dude bought me a bun me. I already ate like most of them because I'm hungry. But this is one of the best bun me I've had. I feel like every bun new bun me I have different. This dude literally went across uh, from his shop and got me this delicious bun meat. So good. I am going to go back to the hotel. I think I'm going to have not decide if I'm going to walk back or not. I'm going to try to look for some food here, see if I can get anything back. If not, I'm just going to order it to the hotel. Oh, yikes. It's crazy out here. I think I'm just gonna walk back. I haven't done enough walking today. Just kind of been sitting and crying all day. So a walk will be nice. Gotta get my steps in. I don't think I've said enough how cool this city is. Like, it's a city I would have never even thought of coming to had it not been for this tattoo. So I'm like super grateful. Came to a beautiful place, saw some beautiful things, and now I have a beautiful tattoo to show for it. What a wonderful time. God, I love Vietnam. Holy salt and mackerel, I'm back home. So many bug bites. Wow. I'm gonna go clean this up and then I'm gonna get some dinner. See you in a bit. Oh. Oh, everything is pain. Food is here and holy Mary of Nazareth, am I hungry. I got some spaghetti and some pizza delivered to me within like 15 minutes, all for under $6. Now that is a steal. Ketchup and chili sauce. Cool, 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 cool. Dope, dope, dope. So here we have a pizza. I'm just gonna take a bite of everything and sign out for now because I wanna watch some Kaleidoscope while I eat. It's been a long, long day, but thank you for being here. And I truly, truly appreciate you. Mm, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. I'm so hungry I could eat a pizza. Pizza's average. Not enough sauce. I mean, I do taste sauce, but like, I don't even see any of it. And here we have some spaghetti. Spaghetti look, I don't even know how I'm gonna eat this. Eating with your non-dominant hand just feels so awkward. Oh my God, I can't even bend this to me. Mm, spaghetti's pretty decent. I taste like some butter to it. Once again, the tomato sauce is kind of lacking. Nowhere near what pizza for peas was, but God does this food hit so well. Oh, this is amazing. This is the life. Not sure what else I have planned for tonight. I am exhausted from that tattoo. It really takes a lot out of you, you know, crying all day. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I truly, truly appreciate you. Stay tuned for more stuff. We're going to be exploring the rest of Vietnam after this. Bye bye. Subscribe or not. I don't care, but please subscribe. I do care. If you're ever wondering why she's not home, it's because she a hoe boy.